Hey guys, Jimmy here at Levity Vans, here to give you an update on how I now install a Max Air vent fan. First things first, order the right parts. I think now we'll show like all the parts. Yeah. <laughs> One of those parts is a Max Air fan vent, or a vent fan adapter is what they're called. You can get them on eBay. It's Impact 3D or Impact Graphics is who you would search for. And they make these really cool 3D printed adapters. And this is specifically, we're doing a Ford Transit today. So this is specifically for a Ford Transit and it fits right over the grooves. And if you zoom in a little closer, the, the top of the roof on a Transit is actually contoured slightly so the, the adapter's thicker over here and thinner right here. These are the things you're gonna need for this job. Um, I have a battery powered caulking gun because I squeeze a lot of caulking and it makes it really easy. You definitely don't need this, not necessary, but some kind of caulking gun you need. Um, and you're gonna need it, so for the vent fan adapter, you're gonna use 3M window weld that's gonna go between the, the metal and the vent fan adapter. And you're gonna use some butyl tape that I don't have out here. And you're gonna put that over the vent, or between the vent fan adapter and the vent fan mounting uh, piece. And after you screw everything down, you're gonna use a self-leveling lap sealant. And I use usually about a bottle and a half for each job that I do. Um, 415, after you cut out your sheet metal jigsaw blades, you're also gonna need a jigsaw, by the way, it's also not out here. <laughs> um, after you cut that out, 415, it's such, such good stuff. You use black and white, I have some white here because I'm working with a white band, but it doesn't really matter because it's covered up. But um, this is a rust neutralizer, so instead of using just you know your normal Rust-Oleum or something like that, you can use 415, it'll neutralize the rust and protect it for, for the future. And what I like to do, they usually come in cans. If you get a can the first time you open it, you kind of need to use most of the can the first time because it dries up and then it's no good. So I like to buy it in a spray can and I will just spray it directly into one of these little paper cups and I use a foam brush and you can get these super cheap like anywhere. Um, and then just dab it in and paint it on. But that will allow you to get a lot more bang for your buck uh, getting the aerosol spray cans versus the, the can of 415. It's pretty expensive stuff. But then you can use it multiple times for putting in windows or any other cuts that you do. Anytime you drill a hole, anything, stick some of that in there. So the first thing that I do is I take the adapter and I take the, the mounting plate for the, the vent fan and I just set it on the top to you know make sure the adapter is in the right spot and I just put a one screw through the very middle of uh, the mounting plate, straight into the vent fan adapter. And I already screwed that in there, but I'm just gonna put it back in now. Make sure this is totally right in the middle where it's supposed to be. And then I tape the other side down. So this is gonna stay right where it's supposed to be the entire time. And the cool part about doing it this way is when you put your jigsaw, or like when you use your jigsaw to cut this out, you don't actually need to tape up the sides. Like I usually tape up all the sides and I outline it where the, the marks go, but all we do is cut on the inside of this. And this is slightly larger than the vent fan. And also if you nick this a little bit, if you even like go into it, just even an eighth inch or whatever, it's no big deal because the vent fan covers this whole thing. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna drill a hole through it and then uh, we'll just cut around the inside. This box is what comes with your vent fan adapter and it works perfectly to catch all the debris when you're cutting out your vent fan. So all I do is stick a couple pieces of Gorilla Tape on each side and keep that up there and everything that you cut in there is just gonna fall directly into this box and not scatter all over your van. Highly suggested.
now that we have the hole cut, um, we're gonna put this back on here. Oh, now that we have the hole cut and it's primed, wait for it to dry. We're gonna put this back on here. These metal tabs go towards the outside. We're gonna go through our existing hole. I'm using self-tapping screws, that way this is just really easy. Now that you have all of the holes drilled, we're gonna take it back out. But this will make it a lot easier after you seal the bottom of it when you already have existing holes. After you have the hole cut, you're gonna take your trim ring, or your, sorry, your, uh, your mounting piece for your fan, and you're gonna put butyl tape on it. You're gonna go all the way around. This step is optional, but I like to heat this up a little bit, especially if you're not using an automatic battery operated caulking gun. It just makes it a lot easier to apply and it makes it softer so it settles down nicely. So I like to cut this at a really sharp angle and that way when I put it on here, I'll show you in a second, but it'll squeeze out and cover most of this. Now that we have our gooey mess on here, we're gonna put it right on top of our prepared hole. Make sure you get it the right direction the first time. Time to install the fan. One thing you want to do is pull these wires out because they're really hard to get to after you have it in. And the other thing you're going to do is you're going to twist this counterclockwise all the way into the up position. The reason you do that is it exposes these holes right here and that's what screws into the side of this. If this is still wet and drying like ours is, be really careful that you don't touch it. We use the long stainless steel screws for the top and these ones we're going to use the short ones. most satisfying things about the Max Air Vent Fan, this is the 7500 model. Um, the 7000 model also has this option too. Is, uh, it comes with this protective layer that you get to peel off.
it this way. If you're curious what the vent fan looks like from the inside, something to note. There's a black wire and a white wire coming out of here and they labeled this and in most DC, like auto, auto automotive applications, the red is the power and the black is always ground. Black's always ground. It's different for household, but in automotive, black is ground. Black is positive with the vent fan. Black is positive. White is negative. Black is positive. White negative. Black positive. White negative. You get the drill. Hook it up the right way. Last part about the fan is the garnish ring. So these things come at like, I don't know, seven inches in depth. They don't need to be that long, but you're not gonna put this in until after you build out your ceiling. However you do it, you're gonna have a hole cut out here. And well, these wires, if you could zoom in on that just a little bit, just so people know, but um, this will slide up right next to those wires. And if, you're, if your roof, the roof that you build, if it came down to here, which it would if you were installing an RV maybe, then you would keep this garnish ring this thick. Otherwise, you need to trim it down. And I usually use a jigsaw. Um, I'll put a block of wood along here and then I'll just cut and use that piece of wood as a, as a spacer just so I get a nice straight line. But yeah, wait till you get your, your roof in and then however, however much further it is from the top of your roof, like the space right there, that's how much you're going to cut off the end of this. And then uh, it comes with these white capped screws. Um, screw it in and you're done. Good job guys. So here we are in our van with a finished vent fan installation and you can see the trim ring and how it just, just tidies everything up. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post. Also, I'd love it if you liked and subscribed. It really helps me on my YouTube channel. And we also made some really cool hats. So if you're interested in a hat, reach out. We haven't put it on our website yet, but we will. Um, I think they're selling for 20 bucks. Levity Vans. Where your van levitates. Here at Levity Vans. Did I say that already? Are you trying not to laugh? I'm trying not to cringe. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.